Closed. Ouch. Body a little bit and then they charge. Ow! That was painful. Jump start again. I had charged the super cat to 14 volts, but. Oh sh something. Crap. What the f? Live 120 volt AC input and I have my capacitor and diode here and I'm probing across the diode. Now if I connect the circuits together... Wow! <laughs> but much more current. And at the input... Much more... Well, you get the point. It's like everything is in order. The circuit is not warm. Everything is good. There we go. Professional plumbing done professionally. Now the question is, does it work? Of course it does. Was there ever any doubt? And here I have the CD power line. Both of them are exactly at 120 volt AC. <laughs> like behind a red light or in a charging lane. Is I remove this drain to measure the water usage. Ah, why do they use this stupid band here that only collects dirty water and booger? Something like this inductor and capacitor. This is a filter. If I try to measure the AC output using my... <laughs> the power line straight capacitors don't blow up like that. Oh, the reason my light is turning on is because I'm hiding my Tesla coil under the table. Ow! What they say about AC? It hurts. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm stuck with 60 hertz for now. Let me see if I can charge my body. Put my legs up. Oh, I can feel my hair rising. Ow! Something zapped me right in the ass. Oh, the city voltage is a sine wave. Now if we scope it... Um, which one was the live wire? Black is ground. And I'll jump start the car and hopefully it will start and then I disconnect everything. Ready, set, go! Damn it, nothing happened. Some plugs like this one that we can measure. Here we have. Yes! What's up with my circuits and all the smoke? In conclusion, here is how Muso works in all the modes. Let me read you a passage. Once everyone else was settled there, oh my soul, in his arm he had a cow. Of course, a brushless AC motor like this one that I took from an old microwave oven can last much longer than a brush. This here, I. I killed it. Don't show Anyways, with this, I'm converting the AC into DC using it. It's a single diode, but it will do. And if I measure the voltage at the output. Oh, the, the capacitor. Ah, I tone from it like this. There is 48 volt DC on them, which is a pretty harmless voltage. No! Fires. As we expect. We just have to tie the neutral wires to the ground and just... I have a foot switch that applies the 120 volt to my bath, like this. What the f... Oh, realistically, I'm gonna touch the door. Ouch! Charge my body first and then let go and then touch the grass. Ah, hate surprises. Something starts to smell around here. 
The power supply on, so you can see what's going on. There you go, you saw what happened. And there's a switch here that acts like a trigger. So here we go. Spray and spray those hands to death. All you need to do is to spray over the walkway like this. Holy f really hurt you at all if the voltage is set very low. Observe. No! Who the hell set this to 25 volts? Us here. See, with their end connected to a cable where I can just plug into the wall. Okay, there we are. is one of the simple things to do. My finger. Ah, I broke the ball. There's a switch. Unplug! Damn it! Unplug! Cylinder back here that can move it around. Now I enable the power supply. <laughs> now we'll have high voltage. Just so don't overheat your magnets. Goodbye, love. Ouch! Not everything hot is kissable. Voltage level, you can adjust its scale using a knob. And the horizontal axis is for time, but you can adjust its scale using the other knob. This can tell you tons about what you're measuring. For example, if I measure the outlet voltage... Ow. Oh, I think the gap between the wires is a little bit too wide for the 2 kV to jump across. My puny wires mounted. What if I put a capacitor between the rods so that when the arcs reach them, the capacitor blows up for some firework effects? Oh, and what if I add some sparklers to it? It's getting there. Oh my god! Make it fancier. The hell? The hell? Why bad things happen to good people? Go! Go! Let's see if I can weld these two pieces. Um, don't touch hot stuff. Let's play Pink Panther. <laughs> My f***ing brain cells! Now let's reduce the voltage level and increase the frequency all the way to 60. I shock my ass sitting on these live wires. Always clean up the lab, otherwise something will bite you in the It's okay. An inductor blocks AC. Okay, everything is hooked up and ready to go. Hello? Ah! Wow! Oh sh What did I do? Okay, let's see how far the fire goes. <laughs>
do, 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 do. Magic. I wonder if it can shock me. Cups <laughs> applying lots of power. Let's see. It's not too bad. Okay, let's get back to the circuit. But right now I'm touching the wires and I can't even feel it because the voltage is not high enough. It's to sense the temperature of the iron, feeling the hot air rising from the iron by the skin above my lips. The skin here is quite sensitive to temperature and you can tell the temperature quite accurately. Ground or negative. Uh, yeah. Please join me for the first time to hear how it sounds. And one, two, three, four. But they have a high voltage with respect to the center mesh. I can short it with my screwdriver for you to see the spark. I use my clamp. And I'll turn it on with my power supply. Here I turn on the supply. See? No sparks. There is not even a high voltage here that I can feel. So it's impossible for this to excite the fluorescent bulb. <laughs> what the? When I had my finger stuck in a lighter and pulled the trigger, it zapped me. Let's charge the car battery. Now I have to wait a minute. power supply here connected to these wires. This power supply can generate 20 volts 150. Now it's time to lower the jack. Here's the power supply at 4 volts and I'm going to connect this thin wire to it. And you can see how the wire melts and burns under. Okay, you can see it still sparks. Let's try it out. What the? I thought I set it to 1 volt. Okay, let me show you how well it works. First, without the anti pair. Let's try the taser now. These are some waveforms. I connected the probe to my output lines, connected my circuit to this power bar, and now I will turn the power bar on. Sending energy to turn on the light. But if I bring my hand between the coil and the light, my hand blocks and absorbs some of the energy and the light goes dim. Am I getting cancer from this? And let me zap this one. There is no easy way to use this damn taser. Let's try it again. Try. There we go, the charger already is on. Now it's off. Turning much harder now. Oh no, 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 no. I killed the phone. What was that? Well, I haven't touched that in a while. Maybe it doesn't hurt anymore. Stupid. 170 volts. Now I like to use my 100 ohm resistor and connect it to the output to see how the waveform changes. Okay, finally, let's power it up. I could share 
share my artistic side with you. I forgot to unplug the damn thing. Let's turn it on and see how it looks like. It's a very simple and yet effective circuit. Let's turn it on. Nothing that a strong drill battery can take care of. Better do stupid sh** that you will regret for the rest of your life. <coughs> Here is the piece of sparker I took out from the lighter. When you press the button, it sparks. Out of all these, you get your own tiny taser that you can zap your friends with. 